Hello, welcome to our story session. Today's story title is Secret Owner. The author of the story is Subhashini Godge and the illustrator is Tiloka Kariyaperuma and the translator of the story is Alicia Berger. And this story is published by Room to Read. In this story, a rooster is being stolen. And no one is accepting that who stole the rooster. What is a rooster? Rooster is the other name for cock. Let's go into the story and see. One day, a baron stole a bag. It had a rooster inside it. He hid the bag in a tree and went into the forest. This man's name is Abharan. He stole a bag. Inside the bag was the rooster. He stole the bag and there was a hole inside the tree. So he kept the bag inside the tree hole and went into the forest. Aaron and Baron saw a Baron stealing the bag. They wanted to teach him a lesson. They took the bag from the tree. One man is called Aaron and the other man is called Baron. So these two persons saw a Baron stealing the bag. So they thought, oh, stealing is a very bad habit. So we should teach a Baron a good lesson so that he will not repeat this mistake again. So to teach him a lesson, these two took the bag from the tree where a baron had hidden it. A baron saw Aaron and Baron taking the bag he had hidden in the tree. When these two persons were taking out the bag from the tree, this a baron saw that, oh, these two are taking my bag which I have hidden inside the tree. He went up to them but he was scared to ask for the bag. Aaron and Baron began walking away from the forest. Abaran followed them. Abaran went near them. But he was so scared to ask about the bag because he thought if he asks about the bag, his bad action might be revealed. So he did not ask for the bag at all. The three of them came near a stream. I will take the bag across, said Aaron. No, the bag might fall into the stream, said a baron. Stream is a small, narrow river. So this one is called as the stream. Now all the three persons came near this narrow river. After coming near that, this person, he is Aaron, who is carrying the bag, he said, I will carry the bag across the stream. Hearing that, a baron shouted, Oh no, don't do that. The bag might fall into the stream. Yes, the bag is quite heavy, agreed Aaron. He winked at Baron. It might sink. Let's cut the bag into two parts, said Baron. Wink meaning 
opening and closing the eyes quickly. This wink will be done only when a joke is cracked. Just see my eyes. Doing this is called winking. So Aaron agreed to what Abaran said that the bag might fall inside the river and it might also drown inside the water because it is so heavy. When Aaron said this, he also winked at Baron, indicating that it is just for a joke, to fool a Baron. At Aaron's wink, Baron said, Okay, let's decide on one thing. We will just cut the bag into two so that it will be easy for us, both of us, to carry it. No, shouted Abaran. Don't cut the bag. So Abaran knows what is inside the bag. Yes. So he shouted, oh no, please don't cut the bag. Go where you have to go, said Baron. We will certainly cut the bag in two. Hearing a baron shouting, baron said, Oh, go and do your duty. Don't interfere in our matter. We will do whatever we have to. So we will cut the bag into two. That is for sure, said baron. A baron was worried about the rooster. He began shouting. Thieves, thieves, they stole my bag. Catch them. Hearing a baron's cry, the Arachi came running with his assistant. Arachi. Arachi is an important official who belongs to Sri Lanka. This is the story of Sri Lankan people. So hearing the decision of Baron, Abaran started shouting, Oh, thieves, thieves, they are stealing my bag. Please come and help me out. He started shouting. So hearing this cry, the Arachi, the important person of this, that place, came with his assistant. Whose bag is this? He asked them. Aaron and Baron winked at the Arachi. He understood. They all said, it's not ours. After coming to that place, the head started inquiring. So whose bag is this? He first inquired. Aaron and Baron immediately said, oh, it is not our bag. Saying this, they also winked at Arachi. By this action of Aaron's and Baron's, the head understood the whole issue. Is that so? Then throw the bag into the stream, ordered the Arachi. His assistant threw the bag into the stream. Oh no, shouted a baron and jumped into the stream. Since the head understood the whole matter, he said, oh, okay. Nobody's bag is this, is it? So he ordered his assistant to throw the bag inside the river. His assistant also obeyed his boss and threw the bag into the river. Seeing this, immediately a baron jumped into the river. The rooster came tumbling out. A baron had fallen for the Arachi's trick. Tumbling, meaning jumping out suddenly is called tumbling. When the assistant threw the bag into the river, the bag opened and the 
rooster came out and now the rooster is out and the action of abharan also is out so the trick played by the head and aran and baran was successful that they had found the thief who stole the rooster yes now the rooster is set free thank you difficult words stream a small narrow river rooster another name for cock arachi head or important person of that place in sri lanka wink closing and opening the eyes quickly tumbling jumping out suddenly try this what do you think about the trick played by the arachi aran and baron